Hi, this is Joy Johnson, International Educator with Ardell Lashes. Each week, I'm going to come on this channel and give you my Ardell Lash Tip of the Week. I hope that you subscribe to this channel. Also, visit me on the web, www.lashesofjoy.com. Happy lashing. This week's Ardell Lash Tip is on a few things. I just got back from IMAX in New York City and the Bronner Brothers Beauty Show in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, I was there presenting um, as an Ardell educator doing demonstrations on the show floor and it was a lot, a lot of fun. So I met tons of professionals, tons of other makeup artists, um, hairstylists, just everybody. And one thing that we were kind of talking about and going over was uh, the application or the proper application of individual lashes individuals, flares, clusters, whatever language you decide to use, but pretty much these um, right here. So one thing that I noticed is a lot of professionals were telling me that they like the under technique when applying the false lashes, um, the individuals specifically, and the under technique is when you take the client or model and you lift the eye and you apply the lashes on the inner portion of the lashes. Um, as you all know, individual lashes are adhered to the hairs, not the skin. And so they're taking the lie, lifting it, and applying it under to get what they consider a more natural look. The only problem I have with that is, A, it's uncomfortable as heck, because you have to have your client's eye lifted. So um, just as bad as it looks is how it feels. The other issue that I have with that is um, it gives opportunity for error in that you can accidentally drop a lash in your client's eye, um, you can accidentally drip a little adhesive in their eye because their eye is wide open, as well as it offers the opportunity for your client to start tearing up because again, that extra wind is getting in their eye and it's just super uncomfortable. So um, as a makeup artist, yes, you might have to do some sort of an under technique. If you're doing a really tight head shot and they're gonna be really examining on the face, really, really close to the eyes, absolutely you're probably going to have to put the lashes up under and even in between um, to disguise that they are false lashes but for a normal everyday client that's coming into your salon or your studio to have lashes applied um, the technique where you apply the lashes on top is is quite fine um, one thing that I had pointed out to some of the professionals at the shows was that there are two different types of individuals that Ardell has to offer the first type are the flare um, that is not free and the not free flares actually indicate on here that they are not free they say it right there and then the other style are the flares um, that are just they just say that in the packaging they're normally in the pink packaging like you see here these are the flare long in the color black so these are actually knotted so these have a little ball or bead at the root of the lash or not uh, that actually holds the lash together Whereas the not free is just that. It's a very flat, thin um, lash that's adhered together. And so you don't have that little um, knot at the root or base of the lash. So if you're applying it in that manner to help avoid seeing the lash, just apply it on top um, as well as applying it as close as you can to the lash line. Be sure to not touch the skin, just on the hairs. And um, you will get a very nice, natural um, look. Um, my thing I always tell my clients is if someone is that close to you um, where they can see if you are wearing a knotted or not free lash then they must be paying to get your lashes done that's how I see it or like a husband or a wife or a boo or something so other than that just normal everyday conversation when you're going to work and all that good stuff no one's going to be able to see if they are applied properly um, so to kind of try to stray away from the whole under technique because again it's uncomfortable and um, unless it's something maybe you know a special scenario where again a tight head shot or you know maybe even if you're applying them to yourself because you can see a little bit better because you have to get so close to the mirror then you know granted if you get adhesive in your eye that's your eye so that's my Ardell Lash Tip of the Week um, kind of a little bit of a rant there I apologize for that but I wanted to just express and let others know that yes the under technique is available I don't highly recommend it the um, over technique is just as excellent and will give you the nice lash look that you want to have so happy lashing